I love the city of Hermitage. It is a city of 830 people. I grew up here in this city and my roots are deeply embedded within this town. This is a very tight-knit community. If you need any help, all you have to do is just say the word and someone is there to help you. And we love that about our community. It's a place that's generational and we want to see it grow. We want to see it progress. When I first come to work for the city of Hermitage, we were just maintaining what was already there. And then when Mayor Kendricks come into office and she started looking to grow Hermitage, she come across Communities Unlimited. In April of 2020, our city was rocked by the Easter storms that came through. This storm was really, really hard on our neighbors at a time when it was really cold outside. It left us without power for multiple days. There was no electricity to feed our generators that would help provide water to our citizens. There was no power to the gas station, so gas couldn't be pumped. It was heartbreaking to see the citizens suffer. There were families that resorted to building fires on the floor of their, their kitchens just to provide warmth and an opportunity to cook and eat. And this was tough. So we had to step in. And this is when we turned to Communities Unlimited. Communities Unlimited was able to to provide that support to us emotionally that we needed as a city to help us to be able to address these needs. They helped us to kind of put things more in perspective, to help keep us guided so that we can do what's needed to make sure that these citizens are taken care of. And then after the storm, Communities Unlimited was there for us again. They were able to help us to identify resources out there, to better equipped us so that next time if a storm happened or whatever disaster occur, we're able to help our citizens in a way that's most beneficial and can get them through any storm that may occur in the city. Since we've partnered with Communities Unlimited, we are getting grants to uh, fix our sewer levy systems, to do a sewer expansion. We're getting a new police car and also uh, we're getting new laptop computers and desktop computers for our office because what we have now is outdated and we really need to upgrade to keep going forward with growing our city. Food insecurity is a real big problem that our community has struggled with for a long time. Communities Unlimited was able to help us to identify resources available so that food can be brought in through the USDA Farmers to Family Food Box Program. Through this program, they were able to to provide over 3,000 boxes of food at no cost to our citizens here. And they were so grateful to have that, just that bit of help to help them get through these times. It was a resource that we just by ourselves were not able to, to get or attain, but through Communities Unlimited, they were able to help us. And we we're very grateful for that. Communities Unlimited has been very instrumental in getting us the grants, finding them, locating them, writing them, getting all the documentation from us that is needed to submit with the grant. And if it wasn't for Com Communities Unlimited, we wouldn't be growing like we are today. Before Communities Unlimited, I don't know how we made it, but once they got here, they were a godsend. And we appreciate that so much. You know, they've left their mark here and we are so, so happy for that. It's a mark that'll stay here for the rest of, the rest of our lives and it's a part of this city.